And so off we go to this presentation. Doot, doot. Here we go. So look who we have here. One of our favorite humans, Dr. Albert Einstein. And I love to start this with his picture because he was just such a genius. And he was, you know, all about energy, obviously, E equals MC squared. But he really predicted that the future of medicine will be the medicine of frequencies because Einstein recognized that everything is energy, frequency, and information. Light is energy and information, and so are we. So if we would go and walk, look inside our own cells with a very, very um, powerful microscope, basically what we would see is a whole lot of space, a whole lot of energy. So this particular wand is based on what we call the terahertz frequency, which is a frequency on this spectrum. It's a frequency that is right between microwaves, which we know we can't really see, right? And infrared, which is also one that we can't see. It's right in the middle. But if you look at that, you're also going to see other places where we use frequency. Using frequency is nothing new. We've got ultraviolet. We've got x-rays, y-rays, radio waves. So this is not anything different. But the reason that the terahertz is so important and why we're excited we're using it is because this particular frequency and the volume of the terahertz frequency, because we can have that level of frequency, different volumes, this one matches the vibrational frequency of our healthy human cells. And it resonates with human cells to activate the body cells. And we're going to talk more about that. And what's really fascinating is while terahertz might be new to most of us, in 2004, so quite a few years ago now, isn't that amazing that 2004 is like a long time ago? <laughs> well, we all lived through that, right? It seems like it was yesterday. But our government named terahertz technology as being one of the top 10 technologies that's going to change the world um, because we recognized all the different applications of this particular wave band of frequency. Um, it's being used in things like, well, medicine, we know, aviation, it's used to help with drinking water, like all kinds of um, places are terahertz. For example, you know, when you go to the airport and we've got to do this, I hate that, and goes around, it is a terahertz frequency. Not the same thing coming out of our wand. It's a different volume, um, but they're using that now because that way it is not dangerous to the body. So something new to know. It is also 100% safe and it can pass through what we call non-conducting materials. So it goes through clothes. No, you don't have to take your clothes off when you do a session on yourself and go through paper. It can go through plastic and glass. We don't recommend though, when we're wanting the water that we go through plastic, mainly because we don't let what any of the particles or the information of plastic to get into the water. Everything is energy and information. Um, and you can see that some of the scientists in other places, what they're calling this particular wave band, the light of life, God's wave band. That's pretty darn powerful coming from a scientist. All right, so the wand has three different features. All of the wands that we have, and we have three of them, and we'll kind of go over the differences. They all have all of these five features. So let's kind of cruise through these quickly. The first one is safety. They are all 100% safe. This device, all these devices are certified and they have hold patents. They are safe and they have efficacy proven. And you can see there are so many different lots of um, uh, certifications with this one. There are actually 62 clinical test reports that were issued and they were issued by the Beijing Institute Research Institute of Chemical Technology. And this is a highly respected institute. Um, it's not so we know that it really works. And all of us that are on tonight have one, so we all can attest, yes, it really does work. All right, penetration. Now, why is penetration so important? It's important because we actually are getting terahertz frequencies in our environment. So you get it from the sun, you get it from the moon, but it's not able to penetrate through. We just get it on the skin. Why? 
Why is the wand able to penetrate? Because it's actually a three core technology. And the third part of the core technology is quartz. So in each of the devices, you have a mineral quartz and that mineral quartz helps to allow that terahertz frequency to go right through and penetrate deep into our body. We've, they've um, discovered that it can penetrate between 20 and 30 centimeters, which is pretty deep. And it reaches right into our bone marrow. It could get into our micro blood vessels and the capillaries. So when that happens, obviously it's gonna enhance microcirculation and we'll get into some other things in a minute. The second thing about it is for identification. So when it goes in, it actually identifies our healthy cells. So I'm gonna to go to this next slide because I love the way this slide explains this. So here's what it's saying. When the terahertz waves vibrate at the same frequency as normal body cells, they actually penetrate through a constant temperature and they actually will give those cells an extra energy boost. So it's kind of like, you know, we have our cell phones, right? So in our cell phones, we have a battery. Our cells are like batteries. And over time and stress and usage, that battery starts to decline in energy, doesn't it? And then we have to go and we have to plug it in and boost the energy back up. That's a lot like our cells, even our healthy cells. As we get older and we're under stress and toxicity, et cetera, even our healthy cells start to lose some of that extra charge. The terahertz, when it hits our healthy cells, acts like a battery pack, and it's able to actually give us some more boosted energy. But here's what's cool. When it hits unhealthy cells, cells that are more disease-causing, it actually, because it's a different frequency, causes them to vibrate much, much faster. And when that happens, it raises their cellular temperature and it destroys the unhealthy cells in the process. So it identifies the healthy ones. It will actually help boost those that are kind of not doing real well, if you will, and destroys the others. All right, activation. Again, that's part of what I was just talking about. It's also activating the body's temperature, which improves our immune system. So, um, you know, whenever our, we, we are under attack, for example, and there's viruses or bacteria, what does our body's brilliant um, sense do? It raises the body's temperature. We get a fever, don't we? Why? Because that higher temperature helps to kill the viruses, the bacteria, the things that don't belong there. So I just want to give you just a little bit of a hint that when you find that your temperature, we have a temperature, oh, aren't we so quick to run and grab aspirin or whatever? We want to get that temperature down. So I'm going to caution you. You might want to be careful. Let your fever come up when you're not feeling well. Obviously, you're going to pay attention if it gets to 102, 103, it gets dangerously high. That's not what you want. But if it's 100, 101, that's your body's brilliance knowing, hey, we got to raise the temperature. That's actually what the terahertz is doing as well. All right, I'm trying to get this to click to the next one. And user-friendly, and this is a huge thing, right? We wanna be able to turn it on and blow and make it easy. We don't wanna to have to go to somebody to do it to us, for us, pay somebody else. This is a beautiful um, device that we can bless ourselves with, bless our families with, super, super easy. And in these pictures, you can see um, people doing it on others, people doing it on themselves, just showing that. Here's a lady that's blowing on her face. So a lot of people say, Renee, how close or far away from the body do we do it? Well, you can see that these are different ways in different places. It's very much up to you and what your preference is, how much of that blow that you want on your body, how much heat, you can take, move it away a little bit, you can bring it closer. There's no big rule about it, all right? Um, this person's doing it on here, that's pretty close. She's a little further away. I love this lady and I just wanna mention, when, because this is how I do it too, I love to lay down and I take my wand and I'll wand up and down this way and a lot of other places of course, but. I wanted to mention this because a lot of us want to go up and down wanding the spine. A lot of us have back issues, et cetera. And in our basic protocol, it does say we want to go up and down the spine. And if you're by yourself, how do you get there? That can be a little bit tricky, especially if you have some neck and shoulder issues. So just think if it can be penetrating all the way through the body and into the spine, it doesn't matter if you're going from the front to the back 
or at the back, it's still going to get that. So when I'm doing it, I'm just kind of visualizing it, actually feeling it in the back of my body. So you don't need anybody to do it for you. You have it right there. Yes, you can do it on babies, 100% safe. You can do it on pets. You can do it on the elderly. You can do it on your plants. So many beautiful uses for it. All right, so now I'm just gonna go over quickly the eight steps. It says eight steps to better health, but the eight different things that the wand is actually doing when you're blowing on your body. So this one we already said, it's gonna eliminate the unhealthy cells. It's gonna activate inert cells, okay? It's going to increase self-healing. Now, one of the things I wanna mention on this is, you know, a lot of us are getting now what we call stem cell therapy, especially in joints, like a lot of people do it in their knees. Well, they'll, they'll go to somebody, to a doctor who will actually inject stem cells into the knees. And stem cells are these cells that will actually go to the places that need to be regenerated. So they stem cells kind of go and then they turn into whatever kind of cell is needed to help heal that place. Really fascinating. But we have our own latent stem cells in our bodies and they are located deep in our bone marrow. So as we are wanding, using the heat, especially on say our spine, some of our bigger bones, um, that helps to allow our body to release our body's own stem cells. So we're actually getting our own stem cell therapy. It's also inducing and strengthening the DNA organic molecules. Isn't that amazing? So that's also helping to enhance our self-repairing appearing mechanisms. All right, clearing the meridians and the lymph. It's opening up all the blockages. So I like to kind of stop for a second and mention, like we have this, the wand was designed based on Chinese medicine, the meridian system, and American cytology technology, which is the technology of cells. So Chinese medicine talks about the meridian lines up and down the body. And we know like with acupuncture that, you know, they put needles in different places, acupuncture points up meridians in order to unblock. Because in Chinese medicine, that medicine feels like a cause of dis-ease is where there is a blockage somewhere in the energy system. When you're able to unblock it with needles and now with the frequencies, now there's a greater flow of energy and then the body can heal itself. In Western thought, we talk about the lymphatic system and I personally love to talk about our fascia system. And now that we've discovered and really are mapping out what we call fascia lines, Gee, isn't it interesting that the fascia lines mirror the meridian system. And fascia is known to respond best with heat, as do opening up meridians. And that's why these devices were designed to be used with heat, as long as it's something that you can tolerate. So that's what's happening here when you use it. You're unblocking meridians, stimulating the acupuncture points, purifying the blood, improving microcirculation. Okay. Now, another thing that it does do is it does reduce the blood flow resistance. It's called viscosity, which is like the thickness of your blood. So it does have the ability to thin the blood a little bit and increase that blood flow through the different blood vessels in the micro um, improving microcirculation. So for all the things that that's helped, and I know I personally have gotten great results with that, I have really bad microcirculation in my lower legs, my feet would turn purple, especially if I've been sitting a while, and that has just about all gone away. So I'm really grateful for that. All right, it regulates glands. So it's really good for endocrine glands and protecting our organs. So even good for organs and removes water retention. So, you know, when we are first born, it's found that babies, about 70% of the baby's body weight is water or liquid. But as we get older, we tend to dry out. And boy, don't we know that, right? Those of us who are getting a little bit older, putting a few more candles on that cake, our skin dries out, which is why we get wrinkles, our bones get brittle. Everything seems to dry out. And it's found that over when we get over 50 in the 60 and 70s, we can go down to be about 45%. But what we're talking about is with, with clearing out the water, when we drink our wanded water, that wanded water actually is able to hydrate our cells. And we'll talk about that in a minute. 
that's not the water that we're looking at clearing out. We're talking about clearing out edema, the extracellular water that just gets down in pool, right? Where the ankles swell, the hands swell, and that can be a big cause of high blood pressure. You know, we have high blood pressure. A lot of times the doctors will come, they'll give us a diuretic to get rid of that extra water. And this will do it automatically for you. It removes that excess moisture. Also, again, we've kind of talked about this. It cleanses blood impurities, cleanses the inner body, promoting blood circulation. Excellent. So those are a lot of the things that they'll do. Let's talk about who is it suitable for? Who really gets great results with this? Any For anything that has an itis, any inflammations, rhinitis, gastritis, inflammatory conditions, gynecological inflammation, prostatitis, we've heard lots of great testimonials about that. Various pains, neck and shoulder pain, joint pain, low back pain, headaches, dysmenorrhea, sciatica. So all these different kinds of things, it's really, really nice for. Different blockages, the meridian blockages, we talked about that, lymphatic. So what might help with that? Well, varicose veins. Yes, weight loss. Insomnia has been helped. Diabetes, high blood pressure. All these things are helped with the wanding. Various skin conditions, acne, we've seen some great results with acne, blemishes, very good for anti-aging over time, beauty and various um, skin conditions. But who is it not recommended for? So we don't recommend it ever for pregnant women. We know that's always a big no. Menstruation, it's a caution on that. For some women, we find that it can increase blood flow and others, it doesn't at all. And they love the feeling of the heat. It can reduce cramping. So that's something just to try, see how your body responds. Anything that's an acute disease, something comes on quickly, we go to the doctor, we go to the hospital, we don't want, okay? It's really important. Anybody that has congenital heart conditions and diseases, that's something that requires medical treatment. That's where we go for that. Objects implanted does not mean that you can't use it. It means that you don't want to wand directly over anything that you have implanted in your body, especially anything that is metal. So just being careful about that. Why? Because you're using heat, the metal can expand, and we don't want any issues with that. That includes anything metal in your mouth. You just want to make sure that you're not wanding directly over it. And any open, big open wounds and fractures. Again, you go to the doctor, you get it set, etc. All right. So now let's just talk about the three core technologies that are on each of these wands. And we'll just kind of share a little bit about the three wands that we have. There are, as I mentioned, the three top technologies that are in all of them. Of course, we've just talked about the terahertz. I mentioned the optical quartz, which is what helps with the penetration. They all have the quartz in there. And the third is quantum or what we call scalar energy. And that's a different energetic frequency that goes out in all directions when you turn it on. And it just enhances the healing. Um, and we've done some really nice presentations based on what all can you do with that, setting intentions um, and really using that time to, to set your intention of healing and to watch the words that you're using and what you're using when you're wanding. In other words, when you go to wand and heal, you know, what are we used to doing? Oh man, I hope this works. I don't know if this is going to work, but it might work. I'm just hoping it's going to work. Man, I don't think it's working, right? Where we put out all that negative skepticism, etc. What happens instead if you Oh, I am healing. I know I'm healed. I feel so wonderful. My back is healed. And then give gratitude. These things actually do work. And it works along with that additional quantum scalar energy. So just powerful additional ways, creative ways to work with all three of your wands. All right. So that being said, we have three wands. The red wand, we call it the classic, $350. And that's the one most of us use, start with. It's wonderful for personal care use. Um, it does have three settings on it. It has kind of a, a high blow with very low heat, a medium blow with a little warmer heat, and a high blow with high heat. So it's the three settings. We do have now, we call it a new premium. We've had it out just about two months and it's $1,050, and it's a great step up 
from the classic in terms of the way that it's built. It's much more um, solid. It has a really nice hand feel. You can look at that. A little bit shorter stout snout. I'll call it a little shorter blower. So it just makes it a little nicer to use. It has two settings, which is a lower blow with a medium heat and a high blow high heat. Um, it's a little bit quieter. It's very nice. I'm really enjoying mine. And then we have the Pro model. It's much bigger and heavier. You can't really tell how much bigger it is in this picture, but it is. And that has lots more settings. It's really used mostly in clinic settings where you can use it all the time. It is more powerful, so the treatments aren't quite as long. And I do have um, those two here. So afterwards, if you want me, I can kind of show you just quickly so you get an idea of the sound of it. People a lot of times like to ask. So that's about the three wands. Now let's just quickly talk about how to use it. What do we do? We get the wand. I'm going to start with like the classic. And where do we start? Well, the very place, first place you're going to start is you want to wand. We call it wanding the water. You want to wand your water. Drinking the wanded water is a huge part of the therapy and the benefits that you get from having the wand. And why? What is it doing? Well, what it's doing is it is taking the water molecules that we have and regular water, and I'm, when I say regular water, I'm talking about the water that you want to be wanding. It's really important that you get the, the cleanest water. So because water carries information and what is ever in that water has additional information that you're putting in your body. So that's why we say like, you know, if you have just tap water, there's a lot of chemicals in the tap water. Yes, most likely it's safe for you to drink. It's been sanitized, but it might have some chlorine in it. It might have fluoride, whatever it is in there. You probably don't want to be wanding that and increasing the absorption of all those chemicals. So you just want to think through that. What kind of water do we recommend? Well, I recommend like if you have a whole house filter water, um, reverse osmosis, which takes away a lot of all those chemicals chemicals, spring water, if you're going to buy water. Some people ask me about the Brita, et cetera, if that's the best you can do and most affordable, that's certainly better, okay? So you want clean water. Now, that being said, when you drink regular water, don't you notice how, like maybe especially first thing in the morning, right? You're completely thirsty. It's like, let me just take my big glass of water and cleanse the body, right? So we drink it and like five minutes later, we're running to the bathroom and it all came out. It's like, did anything just get into those cells? Not a whole lot. And that's what I mean by the difference between extracellular and intracellular. Those molecules in that water are very clustered. You can see it right here. This is what it looks like. And when you think about these tiny cells, how are all those clusters actually gonna be able to get in through the receptor sites on our cells? Not a lot get in. So when you put the terahertz frequency through the glass into the water, it actually what we call structures the water. It creates a linear chain. So now you just have all these one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one little linear chains. Now they can actually get into the cells to hydrate the body. And just being hydrated is such a huge thing. You won't believe the difference. Now you go in first thing in the morning, you wind your water, you drink a nice big glass of warm or um, room temperature water. First of all, you're going to notice that it has a very different feel on your tongue. It's really smooth. And if you haven't experienced it, this sounds really weird, like a texture to a water, but it does. Like, I personally do not like to drink water. Like, I would do everything to <laughs> drink water. I didn't enjoy it. I kind of choked on it, but I love this water. It just goes down really, really nicely. And then do you go to pee it out? Yes, but not right away and not the same amount. You can definitely notice the difference. And as you're looking at the screen, you can see there are so many benefits to just drinking the water and getting hydrated. All right, so this is how I do it. I just set up, I like to do my big jug of, of water. This is probably about a two gallon jug. I fill it up. I fill mine up with warm water and I do have a, a, 
of body filter in my house. Yes, there is a little bit of metal out here, a little bit of rubber. I don't worry so much about that. Um, and then I just put my wand here to the side. I kind of prop it up. Do you have to? You really don't. I just like it up a little bit. I like to put a little towel there because I baby my wand as you want to too with those crystals. And I turn it on my first setting, which is high blow, low heat. And I walk away. And how long do I do it? Well, you know what? Typically anywhere from five to maybe seven minutes unless I get distracted. Yes, me, get distracted very easily. And 10 minutes or so might go by. And I know my wand is, my uh, water's ready to go. And then I just use that water all day long. I'll take it from here and I might, I'll put it in my coffee make maker. I'll make my tea with it. I'll take my supplements with it. Um, that's how I do it. So keep it simple. You might have seen on, on some of our groups, on social media, a lot of people get stands, stands from Amazon, and they hook it on and they take it up and over the top. And that's fine if you want to do that, but you don't have to. The one thing that would concern me a little bit about that is you don't want it splashing because you don't want any water to get up into that wand, okay? So make it as easy as you possible for you. Just set it right here on the counter and below. All right, then we have what we call the 10 steps, okay? We call this the basic protocol. So you first, Drink your two glasses of warm water. Now, I mentioned the fact that I put warm water in my jug automatically. Why did I say that? Well, here's something to know about frequencies. Frequencies are more active when they're warm, in warm water, hot water. So when you heat your water, take your wanted water, and you put it in your tea pot and you're boiling it, some people think, oh, I wonder if the boiling stops the frequencies. No, it actually makes them much more active. So that's why it's perfect. Heat them and do that. You don't, a lot of people are like, Renee, it's really hot out. I only like cold water. Can I ice down my wanted water? Yes, you can do anything you want. It's not going to hurt you. But the bottom line is you're not going to get as much benefit from the terahertz because when it's cold, those frequencies aren't quite as warm or as active, sorry. But And when you take it now, the body heat has to heat that water up. So Chinese medicine, in, that, in their medicine, they tell us that it is not healthy to drink iced water because it's a shock to the body. And the way they describe it is, it tends to put out the digestive fires. So, you know, they have a little bit different way of looking at the body and health. So I'm just sharing that. So you can chill it down if you want, but just understand that. Can you do it just room temperature? Yes, if you don't want to drink it hot, just do it room temperature. So you're going to do those two. Then we're going to start on the palms of our hands, okay? And you're just going to wand one minute for each palm, one minute for each sole, one minute between the knee, a minute for the groin or two, easy. You don't have to be taking a, a, a stopwatch and doing it. This is not an exact science, okay? This is just giving you a little place to start. So I don't want you to go, oh my gosh, I did it an extra 50 seconds, will I die? No, nothing bad's going to happen, all right? So, you know, take it, but make it your own. Don't get stressed about doing any of this exactly, okay? Armpit, lymph in the neck, the upper back, now, there is one caveat to this, number eight, the top of the head. So if you have high blood pressure, it's recommended that you don't blow on the top of your head. Why? Because that brings the energy up to the top of your head. So you don't want to do that if you have high blood pressure, okay? In your tush, you can do the butt. You can lay down and put it on the butt. Up and down the spine, again, from the front. Feel free, up and down, and you're done. Drink two more cups of, of water. Now, Again, do you have to do this when you first get it? Let's say you first get it and, oh my God, Renee, I am having like severe frozen shoulder. I just want to do it on my shoulder. Fine, drink the water, wand in circles around your shoulder. Do it for maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes, do it as high heat as you can and put it away. And notice how you are maybe four or five hours later. Is it better? Yes, great. You might want to do another five minutes or you might want to wait till the next day that some people get immediate benefits right away. 
For others, it goes on a little bit wider. Um, Cher, if you don't mind, would you mute yourself? That would be appreciated because there's just a little sound and it could come out on this and I appreciate that, thanks. So that's how we do it. Now, I'm just gonna grab my little wand for a second and I'm just gonna do a quick show, okay? And I don't know if you guys might not even be able to see me, but if you can, I'll wait till I take this off and then I'll kind of do it exactly how I do it just to show. All right, so that's how we do it. It's really, really simple, okay? Don't make it complicated. So let's just quickly go over, I'm just gonna show you a couple of the testimonials just to show you how beautifully this wand works. You know, we have had quite a few people in testimonials, um, of people who have lost weight and people say, oh, does this help you lose weight? Like I'm gonna get five of them, right? It does, but it's not like you blow and it's making you lose weight. What happens is for so many of us, our extra weight or fluff is really inflammation. It's just our toxicity. It's showing us that we have to heal from the inside. And when the body heals itself, it will take care of itself by allowing the excess weight that it's holding on to leave. Now, one of the things to think about is, we are so toxic in this society. There's no way we couldn't be. We are exposed to thousands of toxins over our lifetime daily. It's been estimated like up to 700 different chemicals every day. And yes, our body has an ability to detox, but my goodness, over so how many years, the body is just toxic. Now, where does the body store all these toxins? Well, a big place that it stores it is in our body's fat cells, okay? Because fat cells are inert and the body in its innate wisdom says, you know what? Fat isn't really needed for, it's not like life needing to have that fat, right? We need to, the fat doesn't matter if it's toxic or not. We wanna make sure that our organs are doing okay. So it stuffs those toxins into the fat cells. So now as we want to lose weight, it's really hard to do that because the body, again, innate wisdom goes, we don't want to start really heavily allowing those fat cells to get burned because if so, all those toxins are going to come in and we're going to get sick. So over time, as you're using this, this is why you want to keep drinking the water, hydrating the cells and gently allowing that detox to happen. Okay. And we do have a couple of recommended products that can help with this, where they can pick up those toxins that are being released from the wand and gently pull them out of the body. So that's a time for another thing. You can ask us about that. But that's why I think as the body rebalances and heals, the weight naturally comes off, which I just love. All right, some skin testimonials. This person had psoriasis. And this shows you what it's like after seven days. We didn't see originally. My guess is it probably got a little bit redder. Yes, sometimes it can get a little bit more red before it starts to go away. That's part of the body's way that it balances and heals. Now, after nine days, look, do you see? It actually got a little more crusty. So if you don't understand how the body heals, you can think, oh my gosh, it's making it worse. No, it's not. It's healing it. That's how it's happening from the inside out. But they kept going, thank goodness, drinking the water, wanding. And now look, 22 days. And my guess is this person has had that psoriasis a very long time. So if that's you, keep going, keep going. Don't stop. Don't think if it gets worse, oh, I'm, it's worse. This is not safe. No, just understand, okay? That's how we're going to get rid of it. Whoop, sorry, thyroid nodules. So we talked about endocrine. This woman had a huge goiter right here. At least I'm assuming it's a goiter or some kind of a node. It's very large. After 10 therapies, much, much smaller. Again, not instant, not the same day, not in the same five minutes, but only 10. That's pretty darn good. Plebitis, after 20 times, you can see what that looked like. Wow, really, really nice. Continuing on, I wanted to show this when Bell's palsy, so a neurological condition, how awful to be here and just not have any control over the facial muscles. After a week, look at the difference. How happy did that make that man? Talk about being blessed. 
pigmentation on our skin definitely had so many, myself included, lots of pigmentation. It's not, sometimes you can get a pretty quick result, but over time, over time, one of the things that you can also do is take that wanted water and spray, spray the wanted water, spray it and then wand. It's a beautiful thing. So you can see just seven times he's really getting rid of that. Varicose veins, same thing. This one, this was, I call this the one hit wonder. After just one treatment, the veins disappeared. But if your veins don't disappear after one, don't give up. Don't think, no, it's not going to work on me. Instead, we wand and we go, my veins are disappearing. They're disappearing. They're gone. And I'm so grateful. And just keep going because that is what will happen. All right, let me just summarize all of this up, just letting you know that the manufacturer is constantly focusing and upgrading all of the, the different generations of terahertz technology, the premium. This is, I think, on actually the fifth generation. So it keeps getting better and better, more powerful. Um, they're continuing to improve it based on the three-in-one core technologies. It's all strictly, um, it has all the strict certifications on it, 100% safe proven by the Chinese Academy of Sciences. You do get a one-year warranty on it against any kind of manufacturer's defect. Um, and Price International is the worldwide sole distributor of this. So there are a lot of knockoffs out there. You don't wanna go to Amazon and do that because you're not gonna necessarily save money. And even if you do, it's not gonna be a Price International and it's not gonna have the same effects. They don't have the same core technologies. It has to come from a distributor of Price and have the Price on it. So don't think you're gonna dollar penny wise and dollar foolish and end up with something that doesn't really work. All right. Thanks for allowing me to do all that with you guys tonight. And so that's the end of the formal presentation. So right off, does anybody have any questions that I can answer for you? Coming, coming, coming. Come on, come on. No questions. Okay. So Taylor does. Can you unmute yourself, Taylor? I don't there she goes. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Hey, darling. Um, remember when we were all going to the retreats and we would get the magnesium oil? Yeah. Oil. Um, what's your thoughts on wanding on top of that? Oh, girl, I think I want you to try it and tell me what happens. And then also, what about the virgin fancy coconut oil? The virgin fancy. Not sure what that is, but you can well, use coconut oil that some, I don't know, it's Right. It doesn't have the thick cokey on it, right? It's just the oil. Oh. Right. Oh. Okay. That is fabulous. I'm just going to grab my wanding oil as well. Sorry, so that everybody can see that. You know, here's what we're discovering. This is new technology, right? And we each make this our own. And so like Thursday nights, we've kind of dedicated when we, when we have something to talk about on creative ways to use the wand. So there's no Rights or wrongs, really. I mean, there probably are some, but you know what I'm talking about. So I'm inviting everybody to get creative with it and see and come back and let us know how did each different thing work for you? So definitely put on an oil that you love, whether it's an essential oil, that's a lovely thing. So if you happen to have an oil, like what we call a hot oil that you always have to, and some oils are kind of hot where you still need a carrier oil to put it on. Um, if you're an essential oil person, you know what I'm talking about. There's certain oils like that fractionated. Fractionated coconut actually is one of those kinds of oils. And you can do that and then put whatever oil, if it's a hot oil you want to try, um, do that. Put it on your skin, wand over it. All that's going to happen is you're going to allow it to absorb deeply into the body. So I think it's just so cool. So Dr. Kim, who's created, you know, her whole line of beautiful products, um, she made one specific. She calls it I Am Wonderful. I love that. And she was using um, an oil in this one, I'm trying to remember what it was. Oh, that's right. Amla oil which is one that she says like everybody's like all hot on the internet now about amla oil. 
I don't know, I didn't know. It's great for your hair, apparently, and it's great for skin. And it's really nourishing. It has a lot of vitamin C in it, vitamin E. And so she created this specific, it's really clean for the wand to put it on and then wand over it, especially on certain parts, really hydrating for the skin. So you can try this one, see what you think. But yeah, try that. I think that would be really interesting, actually, Taylor. Um, especially like if you happen to get a lot of cramps, like muscle cramping. So because magnesium is known in over 300 different body um, um, processes, we need magnesium and we're all deficient in it. You, all, you can't be not because our soils don't have it anymore. So do it and let us know. Good. And then also, if you want to do your wanding a second time during the day, do you need to have to go through the protocol or is it basically a minute, a minute and hit it? Yeah, the basic protocol is really designed as a starting place to open up all the energy channels. So when we look at what it is, it's the feet and the hands. Those are all your reflexology points. So you're actually opening up everything. The rest of it are all lymphatic points, right? Behind the knee, okay. here, here. So that's all it's doing. It's, it's kind of setting the body up to have great results and allow, allowing the body to kind of fill that frequency. You don't even really have to start with that, but it's a good place to. And then after that, just want what you want. And it also, is it best to use the high heat most of the time? Let except me answer, the face and the head. Let me answer it this way. The wand was designed to be used with heat because of what we talked about, the fascia, and the, and the meridians. So I'm going to say yes, as long as you're okay with it, to tolerance. To tolerance, I'd recommend that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Oh, also yeah. tell me about the, the crystal that you were wanding through into your water. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Where do I get one? It seems like there's lots of stuff out there. And then I saw some place with the crystals and they want several hundred dollars. I don't think that's my budget. I'm sorry. No. So let me share. That particular crystal is very precisely cut. It is called a Vogel crystal mm -hmm. because Marcel Vogel, who was an IBM engineer, you can read all about him. Um, created that. He was a brilliant engineer and energy worker. I was in a healing um, course, um, a Kabbalistic healing course, and we were using and working with the Vogel crystals. It is a very expensive crystal and it is glass. It's cut glass very specifically. So you don't have to get anything nearly that specific. I just thought it was so beautiful because it has an in and an out. It was really pretty. Um, so I was using that myself, uh, but you don't have to do that. Just find a crystal, whatever, that speaks to you. It's really nice to go to kind of a new agey or crystal store if you happen to have one by you, right? And just go. They kind of almost talk to you. You know what I mean? Like one will just, you'll just be like, I love lapis lazuli. I love the color, the blue. So I'll go in and I'll just find one. And that'll be, that'll be it for me. That'll be mine for them. And you can put it, <laughs> you can actually put it in the water and wand. You can do just what I did. You can do it with essential oils, anything. But does it need to have facets on it? Like you can't do like a labradorite stone or anything. It no, it'll be. go through. It'll st it should still go through. Okay. The terror hurts. Yeah. God it knows where I'm going with this. <laughs> yeah. Or you know what? You can put it directly in the water container. Okay. And wand because again, it's just it, you were just giving that water the the information. So it's structuring it for sure, linear, but it's also giving it information. That's why we want to be really careful to have as clean a water because all those chemicals, we think because we're such Western minds, right? It's how we think of what we can see, right? We're like, okay, take a drug, like we can understand that. But really everything is simply information. And that's what you're giving it is information from that crystal. And also, how do you heat your water? You, I know we had this conversation about the microwave oven, but do you do it in a, like an electric You can, kettle? yeah. Yeah, I just have an electric kettle. You can and put it on the stove. Glass and then wand it. Okay. Um, either that or just wand the water. You can wand the water cold. You can use colder water and then wand with the heat. That'll okay. heat it a little bit. Well, I do a big pitcher, so. Yeah, 
I do too, but still, if, or maybe even, are you doing it through from your house filter? How, in other words, no, you're pouring water in. Yeah. Okay. So if you're pouring water in, is it cold? Uh, no, I get the hot water. That's why I thought perhaps it's better to pour the, do the water and then heat it up in an electric kettle, then pour it in the pitcher, then wand it. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. You okay. can do that, certainly. Yeah, that's a lot of steps, but yep, you can do that. Okay, thank you. Yes, thank you. It's so good to see you. I'm glad you're on tonight. Thanks. All right, anybody else? Oh, I see a hand up from Cheryl. Go, girl. I was just going to um, reply to Taylor when you were asking about the magnesium. My husband, several weeks ago, um, had a lower back injury from pushing a boat out of a sandbar. and really hurt his lower back so he went in the hot tub came in took a shower i put the magnesium um, gel on him with some uh like tiger bomb and wanded him for a good 20 minutes he woke up the next day feeling great so yes definitely to the magnesium i was thinking of like a tiger bomb i couldn't kind of come up with like a, a deep heat Mm -hmm. Right. I know if you're young living, they have uh, an oil called deep, deep blue, mm -hmm. or that might be a doTERRA. But anyway, like any of those essential oils, put yeah. that on too with the magnesium, maybe make yourself a whole thing. Oh, that's great. And then you'll I, feel that meth, that, that meth. Oh, I didn't know you used that on him. That was great. Yes. Yes. And I took a magnesium bath last night. I haven't taken a bath in a long time. And I had the magnesium in there and I came out, um, and then wanded and man, <laughs> was... and out you go, right? Oh my God, face. done, yep. So beautiful. I do get some questions sometimes, I'll just, in case anybody's watching this, um, about energy and, and having energy is what I mean, and insomnia, like how does it help? So let me share this. You know, I see so many questions. I, you know, I'll go over into some of the Facebook groups and, and people get very upset that they ask questions or they'll see questions asked and people, lots of people will answer and they'll give them different answers and they get very upset. I, this is a scam because everybody answers differently and it's very confusing because we don't understand that each of our bodies are so individual. In other words, the toxicity level that Renee has is so completely different than the toxicity level of anybody else's body. What my body has been through in my 64 years is completely different from anybody else's. Understand that our bodies are such, they're so brilliant. The body has its own healing priority. When we give the body these healing frequencies, the body takes those and decides what's the most important thing to heal right now. The most life-affirming, less life-threatening thing is where it's going to start to begin with. So that's why what's going to work for me doesn't necessarily mean that exact same protocol is going to work for anybody else that's having the same symptom. Because symptoms don't necessarily equate to root cause. OK, so think about that. And I'm going to talk about this specifically. I have a client right now that has horrific plantar fasciitis, horrible foot pain. She it's now all the way up her leg. She has been to the podiatrist. They are like, oh, they want to operate. OK, they've given her the cortisone shot in the foot. That was OK for a day or two. It's just up the side of her leg. And he's like, oh, you have the worst case of plantar fasciitis. And she's like, Renee, do you think this wand's going to help? And I'm like, well, first of all, understand that. Now, not that I know it all. And I don't mean to say I know better than our podiatrist. But I've done enough work with people now that what I do know is where somebody's pain is, is not necessarily the root cause, where it's coming from. If you follow up fascia lines, you might start to get a different sense. So as we're talking, I'm saying, you know, that pain might be coming from that hip. So that if you're having hip pain, it's pulling all the way up 
and you're feeling the pain in the foot. She says, wow, I can't believe you said that because 20 years ago, I was in a terrible car accident and I had terrible pain up that side so much in my, in my butt cheek, so much so that as it healed. She had tremendous scar tissue. She actually had a big indentation in her butt cheek. That tells me that there is a ton of fascial adhesions. Okay. So as that injury healed in that place, the fascia grabs on to that hip bone and locks in and that's a lot of times what the pain is from. It's not from the muscle. It's not from the bone. It's from fascial adhesions. So when we can start heating that fascia and getting hydration and letting the fascia release from there, now that gets released and everything down the side starts to release all the way down into the foot. She's like, wow light bulb moment. So she just got her wand. She's just, I mean, like a day or two ago, she tells me, Renee, I got it. I'm doing the water. And I just started 10 minutes up in here and already she's getting relief. I'm not going to tell you that foot pain is gone in five minutes and it's all done, but she's already felt the relief starting. And oh, tomorrow she's going to the podiatrist and you know he's going to give her another cortisone shot and that's fine. Let her be out of pain again, you know, a little bit. Let's see. But over time, okay. Now, why am I telling you this? I'm saying this to say that somebody else might just be able to just wand their foot and, and the pain will go away. So if she goes into a group and says, oh, I have pedophysitis and somebody says, oh man, I wanted my foot. And in five minutes that went away and she goes and does the foot and it doesn't, does that mean that it's not right? No, that's her body. That's how her body's going to take the frequencies and respond. All right, so just because a specific protocol works for one person, Try it, certainly, but get creative. Listen to your own body. Be your own investigator, all right? Just because it doesn't work in five minutes, please don't stop. Sometimes you might have to want for a month, for two months, and then all of a sudden, you'll notice, wow, things are shifting. Pay attention to things that are shifting, even if that wasn't, the reason that you got the wand, right? I didn't really have a lot of negative issues. I got the wand because it was helping Cheryl and she said, Renee, get the wand. And I kind of have studied frequencies and energy and I'm like, wow, this sounds cool. Let's get the wand. And I just started. What have I noticed? I noticed that my hair stopped falling out. In a million years, I never thought. I didn't get it so that my hair would stop falling out, but it has. Well, that's interesting but my lower legs are no longer cramping and turning blue. Wow, that's pretty cool, right? So I've had so many different things that I've noticed happening. Um, now I'm really using it strongly with intention. And you guys, I'm here to tell you, turn that on. Be careful, be careful what you say because that quantum goes out into the field and manifestation happens very quickly. You know the old saying, be careful what you wish for. Things are manifesting like that. It's really wild so use it get creative and um and play and come back and let us know so i think that dan might have had something that he was saying sorry i'm not kind of looking at this um yeah so cheryl's saying her age spots and her hands are gone wow right aging spots are liver typically it's some liver toxicity right so she's detoxing gently and it's coming out and those are going away i know my husband has a couple places on his body he's wanting he's like renee i swear to god i think this is getting like smaller i'm like yeah keep wanding <laughs> what did dan say add the stick roll to the hip oh the stick roll are you talking about like um myofascial release yes is that, that's what you're talking about cool idea go talk about that well <clears throat> if, if you're not familiar with the stick the stick comes in various different lengths and it's on ball, ball bearings and you massage yourself with the stick like you would a, a roller on the floor when you when you do a roll. But the stick is a small, it's about an inch and a quarter in diameter. It, it 
you apply the level of strength or tension release as you feel it. But for this young lady that you were talking about with the, the buttocks uh, intention, that stick plus this other therapy, the wand therapy, it would be another massage that would help take that fascia and release it from that hip, allow it to massage itself free. Very free. cool. So Dan, let me ask you, and if you would, if you have that link now, it'd be great to drop it in chat. If not, you can send it to me and I can include it in show notes. If somebody's interested in, in getting a stick or would, do they just call it myofascial release stick? No, it's just called the stick. It's just called the stick. Good enough, you guys. So go look up the stick. So with your experience, what would you think? Like, sounds to me like it would be cool to wand with heat for maybe 10 minutes and then stick because now it's warm. The fascia has been warmed up and then stick and see. Well, I, I think it's, I think it's a personal, uh, I, I use it for when I get up in the morning, I, I use it to uh, roll out a full body roll. So I start, I start at the, at the medium of, of, of the waist and I roll up as far as I can reach in the back. And when you roll, you, you start out with a slow roll and then you begin to build your heat, build your intensity, and, and you cool. just roll it back and forth. So you roll down the legs and up the legs and then the quads. You don't roll over your knee joints right. or okay. any joint. You roll over muscle tissue or right. the tendons. You roll the back of the calf you roll on the side of the shin down the leg, but you don't roll the ankle. You can roll the, the bottom of your foot. Uh, you can roll your, um, your back and you can roll your shoulder and biceps and cool. triceps, whatever you can do. Yeah. So that sounds really, really cool. I have something called a Rolga that's, that has like holes that you can do, but that sounds like a really cool one, you guys. So that could be very interesting. By the way, for some of you who might have been in the T-Tap world with me, like Taylor. Taylor, do you know that that's Trainer Dan? Yes, that's Trainer Dan. <laughs> or as we like to call him, Dan the Man. <laughs> <laughs> Dan the man, Dan arms. So anyway, I, I thought that would kind of connect you to it's kind of a small world, right? So well, yeah, Dan is a trainer and um and that's a really great idea. So again, you guys see, we can combine therapies using this to do that myofascial release, beautiful work, really good even for um cranial sacral, right? You're going from the cranium down the sacral, opening it all up. So um really cool. So thanks for sharing that, Dan. Great resource, great resource. Um, and we were just talking about, about different, um, really good, um, testimonials. I was just talking to a client of mine today who had 12 years of chronic back pain. She and I were talking and she's like, Renee, you know, I did everything, same thing, cold therapy, um, chiropractic, massage, acupuncture, not that those things weren't good. She spent, I spent thousands and she got the wand and within two weeks, like she's out of pain. Now she said she did go dancing this last weekend. Taylor's like a dancer too. She was on her feet for eight hours, right? She was um, in high heels and, and wedges. She says, oh, Renee, I knew. So the next day I was in some pain. She says, but I just wanded. I wanted for about 15, 20 minutes and I was a little sore, okay, but good to go. So, I mean, it just it's just been so helpful for so many people. And she also really helped with, um, with one of her pets, um, a, a dog pet that was having some severe issues. And it's really been helping with, with that as well. So you just never know. All right, just use it on everything. Okay, you guys, anybody else have anything before we end? No? Well, thank you so much for coming out tonight, and hopefully you got a few more tips on it. And um, Thursday night, if you want, we're going to have Dr. Kim on, and she and I and Cheryl and Chris, we're going to be talking about this little pretty number, the Ion Shield. And it's just another product from Prife. Um, we have the Ion Shield. We've had it for a while. We just haven't really done a lot of talking about it, but you know what? 
there's a lot of um, illness out there that we want to protect ourselves about. I know now everybody's kind of like, let's not mask, let's just be out, there's nothing going on, but there is, and this is a beautiful protection. So we'll talk a little bit about it, go over the science of it, um, and you might have seen, we're also going to have probably in a couple weeks, I never know for sure, so don't hold me to anything, um, our new Seven Wonders water bottle that's going to be blow away amazing. So we'll be talking about that, maybe not this Thursday, but again, so just keep your eyes and ears open. Some great additional products just to help all of us heal. So thanks again for staying on, you guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Cher. Bye, Bye guys. Bye.